We are recording a session on finding the area and perimeter of different shapes. And in this standard, you could be, you know, any shape is up for grabs. So in this case, there's a rhombus, and you're given a couple bits of information about the diagonals, and then you have to find the area of this rhombus. So you have to go back to the properties of the rhombus perpendicular bisector. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, a bisector means it's in half. So we're given four for this segment here. That means we can write in four for this segment here. That means this is cut, this diagonal is two halves, four and four. This segment is three, and this segment is three. That diagonal is cut in half, three and three. Uh, in order to find the area, though, we haven't got enough. We're not sure. Um, we're going to look at each one of these little triangles. <coughs> Do note that these triangles are right triangles because these are perpendicular bisectors. So let's look at one of these and isolate it. And you note that we have a right triangle with the base of four, height three. We can take the area of that. Area equals one half base times height. And that means one half two, sorry, one half of four times three which is equal to two times three, which is equal to six. All right, well, we found the area of one of these, which is essentially the area of one of these triangles. And to find the area of the whole thing, we simply now need to multiply by four. There's four of them. So four times six equals 24. And 24 is our answer for the area of the entire rhombus. So in this case, you, uh, if you were asked to find the perimeter of the rhombus, it'd be interesting you would need to use Pythagorean theorem, the fact that these are right triangles, and then you would go, if, again, this is hypothetical, but if they had asked you to find the perimeter, um, I'm gonna do it anyway, perimeter, you would need the length of a side. So in this case, the length of the side is found by the Pythagorean theorem. It's four squared plus three squared equals c squared and that would be 16 plus 25 equals c squared. c squared equals uh, 16 plus 9, my bad, I'm sorry. Uh, 16 plus 9, which equals uh, c squared, is equal to 25, and therefore c equals the root of 25, which is equal to 5. And since we found that, then we can know that the perimeter is 5 times 4 equals 20. So that's the perimeter, that's the area, and that's the problem.